But my wife and uh, my, uh, my eldest daughter, who is three, belong to a play group with other moms and their kids. So my wife goes to play group the other day. I'm in a coffee shop. She calls me. And she tells me that one of the women from the play group will soon be appearing on the pages of Playboy magazine. Oh, that's interesting. And odd to me because I only know this woman in the context of being a mom. I've only ever seen her in the play group setting, so it's always been baggy shorts, vomit on shirt, gummy bear and hair coming out of the van. Not a bad look, not hot. Do you know what I'm saying? Just that's how I know her. And then I don't, I've only just sort of know her and she's in my mom category in my head. And then, you know, then I will see her later on, say at her son's birthday party or something, and I will have also seen her bush. So, I'm gonna, yes, yes, I'm going to look. And I say that to my wife. Well, who wouldn't, please? And I say that to my wife and she laughs because the word bush makes her giggle. And then she says to me, well, I've already seen it. And I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't know where I am. I don't, am I still in the coffee shop? I didn't pay for this call. I don't know. I don't know where I am entirely. And so then I say, as you would, what? And she says, well, she showed me her bush. We were talking about her upcoming appearance in Playboy, and we were discussing what would be the proper haircut for such an event. And so she showed me her bush. And I'm like, stop saying she showed me her bush. Slow it down. Tell it slower. Don't just fucking jump to Bush. What's she wearing? Set the scene. It's a great story. Tell it right. Is she wearing a skirt? Does she unbutton pants? How does it go? Slow it down. So then she says, and I swear to you, every word of this, absolutely true. So then she says, well, I showed her mine. Now I'm having some concerns as a parent. I'm just curious, say, where are the kids during Bush Fest? I just want to know, during your pull your pants down party that you're having, where the kids might be. So then she says, well, they're out on the lawn with her husband. And I'm like, well, then I guess I just have one question. And she's like, what's that? And I'm like, how come we don't go to their house for game night? <laughs> now, thank you. Now, what is interesting to me about this story, what is interesting to me about this story is that for my wife and her friend, no sexual content, not a sexual situation. There was nothing sexual about what they were doing. They were merely two women exchanging facts on a topic. Yeah? But even for me tonight, in the retelling of it, delicious. <laughs> and probably some of the dudes here saying, dude, thanks for the nugget. Th I'm gonna change the faces, but awesome. Thank you for the little biscuit that I will take with me tonight. Thank you, you got it, bro. And I think that it illustrates a difference between the sexes in a way, because women have that sort of comfort where, and I, look, I am a comfortable man. I'm comfortable in my skin. I'm wearing a scarf for no reason, so clearly I don't care. <laughs> and I'm comfortable with my friends. My friend Boris, I can tell my friend Boris I love him. I can give Boris a hug. But I will never be standing in the kitchen with Boris. <laughs> going, say, dude, I'm going on a ski weekend. What do you think? <laughs> Trimmed it tight. Not working with a lot. Want to make it look large. Have I succeeded? What do you think? What do you got going on? Extensions. Unexpected. 